Greetings and salutations, my friends. We have FM24 News. And I've only read the first, like, line and a bit. And I'm like, oh, this is stuff I've talked about that I'm really interested in. So you're going to get my first time reaction and hope that an optimism that this is what I want it to be. Um, it's just been announced. Okay, smarter transfers, squad building and finance. Now, before we just jump into it, quickly, finance is terrible. It's kind of pointless. It's It seems like the most rough guesstimated thing. The projection is pointless because it doesn't include half the stuff you make. Finance is rubbish. All, you, all I ever check it for, check how much debt you've got, how much money's in the bank, that sort of stuff. What's your transfer budget? You can't, Looking in depth is very, very hard. So, good. Smarter transfers. Good. But I want it to be both bidding for my players, bit of variation in the bids, and the AI actually buying players that they might need that aren't all 40 years old. That would be good. Um, squad building as well. So, hopefully the AI, they don't sign two, you know, seven, 38-year-old left-backs or just keep the same squad until they get so old and then essentially having to replace them with 29-year-olds that they overspend on. The, the, the AI is not great. Um, it, it's probably... Although the, there's more obvious things in Football Manager, that we, in like this, let's say the graphics or certain aspects, the training, the set pieces, that are really obvious standout stuff, the AI is a bit of a sort of grayer area because we don't sort of... We aren't regularly checking in with the AI managers to see all their transfers and stuff. But it is when you do, well, just don't, because it is bad. Um, our continued drive to mirror developments in the real footballing world makes Football Manager 2024 the most competitive edition in the series yet. Two areas where we've worked extensively that powerfully reflect this are recruitment and finances. On the recruitment front... We've significantly improved the decision-making and team selection capabilities of the AI manager. You'll also see that your game world better reflects the current trends of the real-life transfer market. The current trends. What do they mean by that? As in, like, <clears throat> the trend is to go for the young wonder kids, or the, the trend is inverted wingbacks? Uh, uh, let me know what you think of that in the comments. It's not just recruitment that's been made smarter, though. We've also put a vast work into upgrading the in-game finances system to ensure that there's greater dynamism and volatility in every career. Any, all of that is amazing. Because one of the problems, if you're like, if you're like me and you play Football Manager far too much, every career is essentially the same. If you look at the Premier League in 20 years, the structure of everything about the Premier League will be the same. You might get a random couple of promotions here and there, but Man City and Newcastle will win the league a lot and, and that would be it, right? Having actual volatility in the clubs, the your because we've all get occasionally, you were managing a little team and then you hear about a sugar daddy taking over and you're like, oh my God, we're going to get a tycoon. We're going to get so much money. And that happens occasionally because that happens in real life. That's fine. That's good doesn't really happen the other way does it like it doesn't really like something horrifically bad happens to the club financially and you went from a nice settled stable club to having to sell players to survive that sort of thing anything that makes a career feel different is a good thing um, brace for more transfer battles the global transfer market is continuously evolving and the most recent transfer window was unprecedented in several ways. As a result of these recent global developments, we have made some wider coding changes to FM24 to try and reflect these trends in every career. Firstly, to ensure that the way your rivals buy and sell players reasonable with a clear identity, we've done a lot of work under the hood to improve the transfer ma market make the Kishner transfer market decision making. Good. Smarter opposition recruitment is the order of the day of FM24. Yes. Although it's not like a flashy big feature that they can kind of sell. That is so massive. If it, with everything I'm saying is with an asterisk. We'll see when it actually, when it comes out. Obviously, we're just going by word here. So I'm just saying not all of these things might be as good as they sound or good at all. But as written, loving it. Um... <clears throat> With AI managers now programmed to consider factors like form and reputation more so than ever before. AI managers are now better geared up to recognise imbalances in their squad. Yes, makeup that will take 
their tactical style into consideration much more when shortlisting players. In essence, this means that they will look to fill attribute gaps in their squad. So a manager using a Gagan press approach will look specific. This seems common sense, but this is great. Uh, l l don't make arguments about the fact it should have always been there. Who cares? This is happening. Good. So a manager using a Gagan press approach will look specifically for midfielders with high stamina and work rate attributes if they determine that their squad is missing such a player. Brilliant. Their approach, uh, their approach will now place a stronger focus on player potential ability rather than... Yes! So there's, they're not... We've all done it. If you've played any sort of career where you move clubs throughout your career, you'll go, OK, I'm doing well. I'm going to take the next step up. Let's say a championship side. And you, ten years after the game started, you join a championship side. And all of the players are ancient. There's got, they've got one wonder kid. And they've, all of these players are ancient. This, so this is now going to say they're going to be looking for younger players. Good. And another sort of side effect of that is that it will be harder for us as, as humans to just immediately just poach all the good wonder kids, right? Because there'll be other AI managers trying to do the same and getting those wonder kids. So we might, we can't just hoover up all the good children. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> uh, when players are looking for backup rotation options as, as to an, options to an established first team starter, the improved logic also applies to ongoing transfers. But the AI club's now making much more considered and contextual decisions concerning loans for young players. If it was felt that a player was lacking in terms of physicality, the club would try to facilitate a move to a more physical team to improve that aspect of the player's development. Cool. Ultimately, this suit of changes means your opponents will make more enforce, informed, reactive squad building decisions. It means that you'll be able to face more competition in the transfer market than when your rivals make mistakes. They'll feel more authentic and realistic. Yes. Variations to player development. Oh, oh, this is the best bit. This is the best bit of news so far. This like this this article is so good. To complement the changing recruitment decisions to your opposition managers, there are some upgrades to the way your rivals pick their match day squads. Previously, AI teams were less likely to pick youth prospects in the first team, we know, and their development is always rubbish. It's like when you, if you're managing a club and you've got a wonder kid, but you have to, you're, you're a little club, no money, so you have to sell some of your players to survive. So you sell your 18-year-old wonder, uh, wonder kid to, I don't know, whoever, Arsenal. You know, you know, they are never going to play for Arsenal. 100% they are good and they have the potential to play for Arsenal, but they will rot at Arsenal, they might get a loan move. So the plan is leave him at Arsenal for years, then sign him on a free. He, you've broke, they've broken him a bit, but he'll still be a good enough player for you. It's really bad. So this is great. Um, uh, like to pick youth process the first team because they had low current ability. Now these talents have a higher probability of being on the bench, and we'll see more playing time when teams are ahead or controlling games in the latter stages. We have also worked on how the AI prioritizes matches throughout the season, which should see improved rotation to help aid player development. Elsewhere, we've made a few tweaks to player developments. Uh, some will see an accelerated improvement in their teenage years before hitting their potential ceiling earlier on. Meanwhile, a new system has been introduced to recognize late developers. Oh, this this is also good. Or those players who don't break through until slightly later that would be considered typical. The other aspect of transfers we've made amends to is in-game transfer histories. We've here we've upgraded the user interface and given you the ability to filter league transfer histories by okay, great. Okay, so this stuff late blue like we know this happens in real life. Some players peak earlier, right? But in football manager, you sign us. You get, let's say, a youth intake day, for example. If you've played football manager for a while, you can click on somebody, just get a, a one-second scan of their attributes and everything and go, this player will make it or he won't make it, let's say, whatever your level you're at. It's really easy. So to And if you're scouting and you scout a player that's 20 years old, that's maybe two-star current ability, five-star potential... You're, you look at him and go, he's never going to make that. He's never going to make that potential. He's already 20. If he was 18, I'd take him. But he's 20, so I'm not going to bother. This is really, really good. So you can say, actually, this guy might develop. And then there's a bit more of a risk element. I might sign this 20 rolls because he might develop a little bit later and he has the potential to develop. 
Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, money. Connecting to these transfer market changes, we've also made several upgrades to the finances system to better reflect, reflect the way it works. Across the game, we've added a number of news items and improved some existing ones to provide you with a greater clarity on your income and expenditure throughout the season. You'll also notice that key financial information is surfaced more clearly when you need it. In certain instances when where you've overspent your available funds, you'll notice that we've incorporated negative transfer funds. If you go into the red, you'll receive an inbox item that informs you that you need to either sell players or transfer clauses in order to generate fresh income. Examples, and I don't think that's, that's nice. It's always nice to have a bit more information, but most of us know that when we're buying and selling players, that you've gone over a bit, and if you want to buy another one, you have to sell one. But that's still good. Uh... Or to create fresh income examples and candidates uh, for both are included in the inbox item. Cool. Okay, that's good. I like that. Saying, so, look, maybe cash in on this guy while we can, as it's a clear indication of how much money you need to recoup before you go into a positive uh, budget again. If you're unable to generate enough money with the agreed time period, your board will take control of your budget and begin to sell your players. That could be a fun save, couldn't it? Where you do that on purpose. The control will then be relinquished back to you when you either the cash has been raised or the transfer window is closed. Should you take over at a club that's got a negative transfer budget, you'll face a more challenging start in the dugout. Fuck yes! This is one of, like I said, everything I'm saying is with a little asterisk to say we'll see what happens when we actually see it in the game and how this actually works out. We've been promised things before which haven't quite worked out. But going on face value right now, this is one of my favourite FM articles I've ever read because it's everything I like in a game that's important to me, the way I play. Loving it. Okay. Uh, navigation, a further financial fair play and integration. I was going to say interrogation, that's not the word. But also a number of upgrades to the FFP as well as other non Nation specific financial rules. Should a club breach FFP rules in the game, there are now new sanctions in place, including squad size and transfer spending restrictions, as well as fines and competition income being withheld. If your club is close to breaching the rules, there'll be a note in your finances menu to explain what, that your wage budget is locked. You'll now notice that when a person when a club is placed into administration, you'll receive new news item that shows their net debt, profit and loss graphs, overall expenditure, and overall income. Good. Should your club go into an administration, you'll be notified that the transfer funds have been withdrawn and that the administrators will listen to and consider any reasonable transfer offers that are made for your players. Yeah, makes sense. If you're unable to meet player wages, the Players Association will step in and you'll be under a transfer embargo until the money has been repaid. A club can also now enter in company voluntary agreement, a government bond that al allows an insolvent company to pay off their creditors over a fixed period while they continue to operate. Yes, this is so good. Oh, this is the best article I've ever read. Um, <clears throat> new dynamic income streams. It's not expenditure we've made changes. Now there's greater flu, 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 income, 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 income. Okay. Was that creating more dynamism and intrigue in every career? Indeed. You'll now see that we've included fixed length TV deals. Good. The news items indicating these show changes in the deal's value and what percentage effect that has on the competition prize money. This is all so good. The actual, it's, you're going to feel like you're playing a different save. But that's, does that mean like, say, I'm not sure what the TV deal is with Premier League. Just take 100 million, for example. Does that mean like, I started to save, I'm in the Premier League and we win the Champions League and we're doing great and we always, we're, oh yeah, England are great. So the money just keeps going up. If I did another save where let's say the the Premier League's a little bit less competitive and they don't do as well in Europe, the TV the TV deals dip, which would hopefully, I'm not sure they would include this, but then if like the Premier League, let's say, drops off in popularity a bit because none of them are doing good in Europe, you know, they're not the most exciting teams, etc. that then that would, there's still a big viewing audience of humans that want to watch football, so maybe Italy and Spain get a little bump because of that. That would be amazing. Um, I might have gone a bit too deep into it there, but I'll take anything. <laughs> Elsewhere, there are new uh, news items, contextual information on parachute payments and details on how your ticket prices and sponsorships have changed based on whether you've been promoted or relegated. There's also a new season tickets league table, cool, located in the competition overview drop down, which shows the other clubs. That's cool. That's interesting. 
Um, the Greater Information, I'm, you can see the screenshots. I'll link this article so you can look at the screenshots. Um, this Greater Information is all designed to improve the clarity of how finance is working in game. Less money will now be described as general or other in the financial menu and committed spending calculations for future transfers has been improved. Additionally, loan income and expenditure are now listed as separate from permanent, uh, permanent deal income and expenditure. Good. For clubs in the lower divisions, they will now turn professional at the point of promotion rather than at the end of the season. Conversely, there will also be more discernible sporting and financial setbacks from not switching back from professional to semi-professional following relegation in the lower. So it's going to hurt you more. Okay. <laughs> I don't get relegated though. So I don't have to worry about it. Okay. The upgrades to AI squad building and the finance finances system dramatically level up the immersion to FM24 and in greater variety, dynamism and competition to every career. In the coming weeks, you'll learn more about this and other features, including a new intermediary role and how they'll help you offload players. Another common problem, um, I like to call it the Man United problem, where you just can't sell your players. Um, so that would help. Some, it's sometimes in some leagues, it's just it seems quite random. You can be offering out good players that aren't on high wages for no money and there's nobody interested. So <clears throat> I hope that's that's an improvement. Uh, the introduction of targets for players, changes to the match engine, a refresh of set pieces. I like they, they, they're making sure to say a refresh of set pieces, which is fine because I don't expect a massive overhaul because they'd say they'd use overhaul if it was a big change, right? An overhaul, that's fine, because we're getting a new match in. That, so that all sort of links back a little bit to that. So I'm fine with them just going, this year we're just going to, I don't know, maybe have more places that you can put a person at set pieces, a few more roles, a few more things like that. And much more in the general gameplay box. Make sure you'll be signed up to it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. As you might have noticed, I am quite happy with this. If I could have written an article for my own personal way of playing and how I'd want the changes to be, this would be pretty much it. This is the most excited I've ever done of one of these news articles on any FM, I'm pretty much sure. Like I said, again, I'm going to keep mentioning it because somebody in the comments is going to be like, well, actually, um, FM prom pr promised this and it wasn't very good, so this is probably all rubbish. I'm not saying it's all going to be perfect or work the way we want it to work, right? But right now... This is all the information we have, so I'm using that to say that everything they've said is absolutely amazing, and I absolutely love it. Right, if you're looking forward to more Football Manager um, shenanigans, then just follow my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing some different stuff with FM24, um, so if you want to let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you want to see for FM24 from me, then that's great. Um, for those that watch The Journeyman, there is no journeyman video today because I'm still in a job hunt. It's two years. Two years in a, with a massive database of trying to find a job. I am well over 20 hours of hitting continue. And it's my own fault. It's not, it's not FM. It's not SI. I've got a massive downloaded database that just is painful. And nobody in Belgium is ever getting sacked or leaving their jobs. It feels unfair. But hopefully it'll be back tomorrow. I'll play it all night tonight. Hit and continue for you guys. <laughs> I just want an interview. Um, I might just have to take a really bad job just to get a job at this point. Um, yes, but if you're looking for more content for FM24 coming up and stuff, then please do check out my channel. Um, we're going to do some Let's Plays, but I might do some other stuff as well. I've got some ideas. But like I said, if you've got any ideas, you want stuff you want to see from me in FM24, whether that's bringing the club guides back or other stuff, please let me know in the comments. This is good. Miles, the team, Sports Interactive, if you are watching. Yes, this is amazing. God bless you all. That's good. Now, but make sure it actually happens. Caveat. Make sure that this happens. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.